Let's talk about query shortcuts. Remember, I said query shortcuts and not a keyboard shortcut. Well, that was my home. Hi there, this is Pinal Dave, and I welcome all of you to this another episode of SQL in the 60 second. Today, we are going to learn about query shortcuts. Recently, during SQL Server Performance Tuning Consultation, one of my clients was impressed me running various different shortcuts for queries. Let's learn how we can do that easily and efficiently with the help of SQL Server Management Studio. Here on the screen, you have SQL Server Management Studio and the screen is empty. Now, without typing anything, you will notice a query ran which is displaying recent connection. Right following that, you will see another query which is displaying all the logs in my database. This is because I am using query shortcuts. Query shortcuts can be easily configured from tools, options and right over here under environment, we have section called keyboard. There is screen for query shortcut. Here we have control 1 which is mapped to SPU and we have control 2 which is mapped to SP underscore log. So whenever I want to see any activity or locking details, I can easily use control 1 or control 2. While I cannot change already pre-assigned shortcuts, I can easily assign new stored procedures to any other shortcuts. Here you can see shortcut of alter F1 assigned to SP underscore help. I can go to any table and just type on keyboard alter F1 and it will show me all the details related to that table. Trust me, query shortcuts are very efficient and you need to use them effectively with your database. Now is the time when I request you to subscribe, like, share and comment on this video. Please wait for one more tip after the outro. Use SP underscore who to over SP underscore who to see advanced detail about what's going inside your server. <laughs>